Manchester United may rip up plans to sign Harry Kane and sign a cheaper transfer target instead. Uh, United could save potentially 60 million pounds by ditching Harry Kane as plan B price tag emerges. Let's jump into it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU Stand. This is your latest Manchester United news and transfer news as we discuss Harry Kane and the backup plan in case we don't sign Harry Kane. So this just came up. Uh, the Red Devils could instead pursue Atalanta star Rasmus Hoyland, who is actually available for a considerably lower fee. Uh, Kane is United's uh, top target this summer. The Tottenham Talesman is out of contract in 2024, and he could uh, speak to foreign clubs from next January regarding a fee, uh, a free transfer. Uh, now, uh, there could be the final times that Spurs could actually get a large fee for Kane. However, they remain adamant that he will not be sold in the upcoming window. Uh, United obviously are in the transfer market for a striker following Cristiano Ronaldo's exit uh, late last year. Uh, while while, um, while Wakehorst is, uh, is actually is not going to be a permanent move. We know we got Wakehorst on loan. Obviously, for obvious reasons, we're not going to make this loan a permanent deal. And Eric Ten Hag obviously is a big, big fan of Harry Kane, who actually scored 30 goals uh last season in the Premier League uh, especially given the circumstance you're looking at Tottenham and how they suffered last season he still managed to score 30 goals can you imagine what he can do if he actually joined Manchester United and a proper team he could even score more goals Tottenham clearly would demand uh, an excessive of 100 million pound I don't think I don't think any club is going to pay that much for Harry Kane, to be honest with you. I really, really don't think any club would pay that kind of money. And I don't want Manchester United to pay that kind of money for Harry Kane. And, and let's not forget the uncertainty over United's ownership situation means we might not be able to make signings as big as that one this summer. So we, we're going to have to take a look and see what's going to happen. Uh, therefore, though, therefore... Hoyland could become a primary target for, for Eric Ten Hag. He is obviously, if we can't get Harry Kane, he's obviously the next person in line, the better choice, the plan B, if you want to call it, who could, who could join Manchester United and make changes in our team. Um, Hoybert, or should I say Rasmus Hoyland, could become a primary target for Eric Ten Hag, the athletic report that Atalanta would want a minimum of 40 million pounds for the 20 years old. Even if the Serie A side demands more than the amount, it would still be considerably less than the fee Tottenham would potentially accept for Harry Kane. Hoyland only joined Atalanta from Storm Graz in 2022 uh, for a fee around 14.6 million pounds. He scored nine goals and 32 uh, Serie A appearances in his debut campaign. He grabbed the headlines in March when he actually scored a hat-trick on his full international uh, debut for Denmark in that 3-1 win over Finland. United would be buying potential instead of uh, the, ready, uh, the ready-made product Kane. I mean, that's the pure difference between these two. You buy Kane, he's instantly going to improve our team and we know what we're going to get from Harry Kane he doesn't need to adapt to the league he's just going to hit the ground running versus if we got Rasmus obviously it's going to take time he's young he will take time to adapt uh, to the team but the, it's, it's a difficult one I mean you think about this it's a difficult choice obviously the price tag as well is a key factor in this and I do hope that we go for Harry Kane but if we cannot sign Harry Kane Rasmus Hoyland should be the next guy we should be taking a look at but what do you guys think who should be signing for manchester united if we cannot sign harry kane 
who should we go for? Let me know in the comment sections. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.